What can you see as a common factor we can divide out of each of these terms of this trinomial? Hopefully, you instantly recognize you have a variable in every term. We have the variable x, so we'll be able to factor out x. And the one that they share in common is x to the first power. And also, hopefully, you recognize, since all of those are even numbers, they're all at least divisible by 2. And that happens to be the only factor they share other than 1. So I can divide 2x out of each of those terms. 4x cubed divided by 2x is going to lead me 2x squared. Minus 18x squared divided by 2x is going to be minus 9x. Minus 10x divided by 2x will leave me minus 5. And I factored out the common factor. Now I want to attack that trinomial that I just created. <clears throat> if a trinomial is factorable, it's going to factor into the product of two binomials. Remember to bring that 2x common factor down also in front of the binomials. Looking at this sign, the way to get a minus is to have a plus and a minus in your binomials. Now, let's look at the factor pairs that will make 2x squared. We look at the factor pairs of the first term of the trinomial. Well, that's just going to be 1x times 2x to make 2x squared, isn't it? And now look at the factor pairs that will make the third term of the trinomial. Well, that's just 1 and 5. So I need to put those into some arrangement that will make minus 9x. So let's put x here, 2x here, 1 here, 5 here. I don't know if that works. I simply put it in because that's the order in which I wrote them on the board. The way I will know whether it works is I'll look at the O and the I of FOIL. The O of FOIL under this arrangement is going to give me minus 5x. The I of FOIL is going to give me plus 2x. Those two combine to minus 3x. I need minus 9x. Not the right combination. So let's change something, not something major, just something minor. Again, let's maybe just switch the positions of the constants. Let's put the 5 here, put the 1 there. x times minus 1 under the O of FOIL is minus 1x. Plus 5 times 2x under the I of FOIL will be plus 10x. Combining those two terms gives me plus 9x. But what did I want? I wanted minus 9x. So the only thing that's wrong is the sign. I have plus 9x with these two terms. I want minus 9x. When that occurs, all I have to do is leave the terms where they are and switch the signs. So this one needs to be 2x plus 1. And this binomial needs to be x minus 5. Now, if I looked at the O and the I of FOIL, it would produce minus 9x for me just as I need. There's my complete factorization of that trinomial.